Good evening, savages, and welcome back to another episode of Savagely Paranormal. Tonight, we have another weird and interesting topic, Mm -hmm. because we've gone down the absolute rabbit hole when it comes to scary horror movies lately. Well, it was Halloween. It was, it was. And this one happens to be, like, an actual, like, true story. Like, it's, like, legit, real... Haunted Haunted house. house with an actual investigation that was, like, recorded. Yeah. So. I think there's been quite a few people have investigated this place. Before it was torn down. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Well, I mean... You could still. It was torn down for a good reason, though. So, we, if you haven't figured it out yet, we are discussing the Demon House in Gary, Indiana. Yes, Mr. Zach Baggins bought it, yeah. investigated it, got possessed. possessed or affected by it. Yeah, a lot of crazy things happened before he bought the house. There was the possession of a kid. She, like, lit, like slid across the floor and up a wall, like, almost onto the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a bunch of, like, weird, weird things happen from, like, the moment they moved in until they moved out. So, like... The, the plague of f- flies in the middle of winter. Like, yeah. that's a red flag. Sorry. I think that's a red flag. No, we don't do that. I don't do bugs. So. No, no, I'm good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, and then, you know, that um, while they were having a party, one of the daughters, like, they walked into her screaming and she was levitating, like, above her bed. Party games. Yeah. I mean, hey. Party games without the party. Right. <laughs> party games without the attempt at a party game. Yeah. And then, so there were, like, a lot of, like, weird, weird things that happened in the house. Like, you know, like, the banging, scratching, the noises. They see in a full-bodied apparition in the living room, like, pacing around. Mm-hmm. And then Zach bought the house. I think, I think he investigated it, then bought it, and then did another, like, big time investigation. Yeah, he like locked himself like into the house. Like they like boarded all the windows and the doors and he was quite literally locked in a house that a psychic said there were like 200 demons that lived inside. Like yeah. that is crazy. Why would you do that to yourself? Like he knew what he was walking into, but oh well, there's I mean, that's so sketchy. Yeah, but think of the evidence you could get if they cooperate. If they cooperate and don't kill you in the process? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I could, It's. it would be cool. I mean, you could definitely come out of there with some <laughs> concrete proof. Oh, oh, definitely. I think before he bought the house, there was a priest that tried to do an exorcism on the house or on one of the tenants that lived in the house. Yeah, I could be wrong, but didn't something end up happening to the priest or something? I think so. Yeah. 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 But a lot of things happened to Zach because of that house. Like, now, like, before he bought the house, you see him normal with no glasses after he had things happen at the house, he now he needs to have prism glasses because something affected his brain so bad from being in the house that now he sees doubles without the prisms, which is... It's interesting. I haven't yeah. seen anybody else be that... have that kind of long-term effect. Yeah. From being, like, possessed or being in a haunted location. Yeah. But yeah. he was, like, completely locked down in there. Yeah, I think he and... spent, like, like two weeks there or something. It was a long time. It wasn't, like, just an overnight or two. Like, he was there for a very extended period of time. And when you're around that much evil in yeah. one location, you have to, like... It's a hazard of the job, but, like, you have to kind of, you know, expect for there to be something that happens. Yeah. That 
and there was probably sensory deprivation going on and oh, yeah. everything else. So they got embedded in there pretty good. He uh, he did a lot of experiments there. A lot. A lot. <laughs> but I would not stay at that house. No. No. I mean, I'd maybe. go. I don't want to sleep in the house, though. <clears throat> good. I, I don't think you'd fun. be able to sleep in that house. I don't see sleep going very well there. No, no. He was very sleep deprived throughout like the entire movie. It was crazy how how badly affected watching him go from being like his normal perky happy self to like a completely different person was mm-hmm. really hard. Well, he he is <clears throat> kind of one of those that um He's a sensitive. Yeah, and things tend to latch onto him anyways. <gasps> oh yeah. He's got a lot of episodes that he, he has... always gets jumped or I don't want to say possessed because that's a big word and yeah, but he always things has always jump him and affect him in ways that <clears throat> they don't affect like the rest of the team. And I think that's a part of the reason in a lot of his newer episodes, like with his newer show, he is at home at like a base camp and he watches the monitors versus being like in the field with the guys. Mm-hmm. It's just interesting, though. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I always wanted... I really wanted to watch that movie, but I I can't. I tried. A lot of people say that they can't watch... Like, they turn it on to watch it, and they can't. Or they do watch it, and they have really weird and strange happenings that happen, like, around them. But we get that a lot with, like, horror movies and, like, movies that are based on true stories that are spooky. We had a... We had put it on because I was dying to watch it, and uh, it starts playing, and we haven't even gotten, like, 40 seconds in yet, and I got a headache, and I physically felt like I was going to be sick, Yeah, and it would not stop. I said, that's it. Movie goes off. And then after the fact, I'm reading all these things about people who put it on and like instant migraine, instant nausea, and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, oh, okay, so it's not just me. No. Can't watch it though. When you have, like, you kind of have to, like, not, I guess, not expect there to be something when you watch stuff like that. Like, because there are other things that he has, like, other. Like, stuff that he has in his museum, like Peggy the doll, mm-hmm. that if you even look at her, even a picture of her, you can be affected from. So you have to, like, kind of almost expect things to happen. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that, like, Post Malone, he investigated with them, and he's still being affected by things that happened. That was a pretty good episode. I saw that one. It was crazy, though. I, I, I think it's just interesting that a lot of people that you have seen, like, reviews online for have had so many similar experiences watching this movie. Now, yeah. I thought it was a great movie. It was very inf- inf- informational. Informative? Yes, that word. <laughs> yes, my brain is, is going like a thousand minutes. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, but it was very informative. It really was. And watching, you're, like, watching, like, like his, like not history, but like you're watching like an entire investigation pretty much live. Yeah, and you're seeing exactly what is happening to Zach the entire time he's there. Well, maybe not the entire time, but you know, like yeah, the more interesting pieces and like he the interviews I... the family. Like he has the family come back to the house that lived there before he bought it, and. The, one of the kids got affected again while they were in the house. Mm, not surprised. No. They've already latched onto the kids once. Right. <coughs> but it's just so interesting. It's like a portal to hell. Yeah, pretty much. Essentially. Like I, he, he calls it like the portal to demons. Yeah. And <laughs> he ended up actually um, tearing the entire house down shortly after, like, he was finished doing the investigation because he didn't want a chance anybody else going in and having anything happen he didn't want that on his yeah. conscience I mean he had such a horrid and obviously powerful experience there that he he couldn't he couldn't risk it and 
I mean, that's all fine and good, but uh, I don't think you got rid of anything because they're still there. Yeah. They're I, still on the land. They're still whatever portal is open unless you closed it. They're still there. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, it's so crazy that, like, you're just going to, you know, tear down a house and hope for the best at that point. But, like, the land is still affected. Mm-hmm. And unless you're going to build, like, a 20-foot prison chain wall fence around it to keep people out and away from it. Put, like, iron gates up and... <laughs> Right. Sprinkle salt and <laughs> holy, holy water. water and close portals and yeah, there'd be a lot. There would have to be a lot of things that happen mm-hmm. in order to make the land safe again. And I hope to God nobody ever buys that lot because they build another house. You there. know somebody's going to. Somebody's gonna see dollar signs with this. Oh yeah, but I think he still. I think he still owns the land. Yeah, for as far it. As so I know. he's probably not gonna get rid of that anytime soon because. Mm-hmm. You know, it is a such a safety hazard. Yeah. He can't, in good conscience, sell it to somebody else, knowing what happened there, yeah. and knowing that you yeah. know there is a big possibility that further somebody things... will get hurt. Yeah, I mean, he almost got hurt there. Well, he did get hurt. He ended up having to have glasses now, but I don't know. It's just, uh, it's interesting. It is. It's. I don't know. It's one of those things. I wish they would show, like, obviously for rating reasons, they can only show the the good stuff, so to right. speak. But I want to see the, the, the footage that he cut. Mm-hmm. I want to see, like, the whole, the whole thing so you can kind of make more sense of what he really went through there, not just the bits that they wanted you to see. Mm-hmm. I think that would be a good I want to see the downtime. That's when you're going to yeah. see more of him being affected by anything there. Yeah. Not the actual investigating or look there's a shadow or look there here's a noise. I want to see what he does when he's just sitting there by himself or And there are there is some footage on there of him sitting there watching TV and then like hearing things and stuff happening like mm-hmm. It's just, it was interesting to Mm -hmm. watch somebody solo investigate a house that is supposedly haunted by, like, 200 demons, and that's a lot of evil in one location. It really is. is. It's totally insane that... The energy radiating from that house, I... Just looking at the house, even just looking at pictures of the house gives me the creeps. Yeah. The movie was very spooky like it wasn't scary none of the stuff that happened while he was in the house that like showed up on film was like necessarily scary but it was scary watching somebody go through what he did yeah and definitely listening to the first hand encounters that him and the previous tenants had was really terrifying like the Mm. the the thought of a kid being slid across the floor and up a wall yeah no no thank you i'm good no No, i don't want to do that no we don't Mm -hmm. we don't no no i don't do the levitation shit either no no it'd be kind of cool to see but no thank you it would be until like your kid is absolutely <clears throat> terrified. Well, of not necessarily anymore. my kid, but to, it would be kind of cool to see somebody levitate. But I did see that once. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to. No. No. Could you imagine the terror on the party people's faces oh, when they see a kid like levitating <laughs> off of a bed, like something straight out of The Exorcist, like? You only read about stuff like that yeah. happening. I could not even imagine something like that actually happening. Like, I thought that was all, like, Hollywood drama, like, demons don't really do that. Mm-hmm. But, like, apparently the demons really do do that. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you know, like, the bed's moving and stuff. Like, I was like, oh. 
Does that actually really happen when somebody is possessed? I don't know. I've never been possessed yes. before. Yes, it does. <laughs> you have firsthand experience <laughs> of that. I've never had that happen before. I didn't know. And it's just, I don't know. It's weird. But, yeah. Hmm. We're getting the, the wrap it up sign. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Stay savage.